Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing well. Today we're doing another one brand tutorial and today we're going to be using Essence makeup. I'm super excited. I purchased a whole face of makeup from Ulta and you can find Essence at Ulta.com or Ulta stores, in stores as well. And you can also check out their website and I will have everything linked in the description box so make sure to check that out. They're a really great, super, super affordable, cruelty-free brands and they have a lot of options to choose from and they're constantly coming out with new things so I'm so excited to try out out. lots of new goodies here um, if you're new to my channel I am doing a new series here where I do a full face of one makeup brand if you guys missed my first one I did of ColourPop cosmetics I'll be sure to link it here in the card and also down below so without further ado grab a drink grab a snack it's gonna be a long one let's go ahead and do a full face of essence makeup all right so here is my Ulta order it's been sitting here in the floor in my little filming area here just waiting for me to dive in and I'm so excited so I'm just gonna pull everything out and I pretty much got a full face of makeup uh, Ulta was doing a huge sale on everything from Essence like literally you guys most of the stuff I purchased was under five dollars so these are the new fruit kiss carrying lip balms they have 10% almond oil and you guys know i love lip balms i'm kind of addicted so i got the coconut one of course and i also got pineapple and i cheated i'm sorry but i i've been trying these and they're so good they're so good so it twists up and down kind of that that chubby chapstick kind of thing but these are so good oh my god they're just a clear lip balm they're not tinted oh my god it smells like coconut body butter you guys these are so good i give these a huge thumbs up so i'm gonna leave this on my lips let it sit and be conditioning while we put on our makeup so i do try to make this a one brand tutorial but there are some exceptions like some brands may not have things in stock so i try to make it as a full face as possible <laughs> so there are going to be things like i could not find an, an eyeshadow primer from essence so i'm going to use one from milani today so this is the skin Levin sensitive primer it has, it says it's moisturizing and nourishing, non uh plus aloe vera. There's no fragrance, no alcohol, no silicones, no parabens, or no mineral oil. Yay! You guys know I have super sensitive dry skin, and I really don't like mineral oil in my products. It comes in this bright white and blue packaging. Nice, thick, white, very creamy. The only primer that I really love is the one from Too Faced Cosmetics because it's so, oh, is it so hydrating? This feels good. It's like if a moisturizer, like a fancy moisturizer and a primer got together and had a baby. Okay, I like how that feels. So this is the new Pretty Natural Hydrating Foundation. It has hyaluronic acid and aloe vera 24 hour wear finish and long lasting moisturization. Sounds good. With a natural coverage finish and weightless skin feel and vegan. So I went with the shade 010 Cool Porcelain. Now I will say on the Ulta website, they did not have all of the shades and I think there's over 30 shades. So Essence is really stepping up their game. So this comes in a really nice squeezy tube, which actually I prefer. That way you get out every last drop. Just giving this a sniff and it, I do smell the fragrance in here. Hopefully my skin doesn't have a reaction. So that is the shade Cool Porcelain number 10. Wow, that like blends right in with my skin tone. That actually looks really good. Again, I think this is gonna be a little too dark as like a brightening concealer, but this is their new High Beauty with Hemp Seed Oil Moisturizing Caring Vegan Under Eye Brightening Concealer. And it looks like we have yeah we have a little doe foot applicator so that is the high beauty <laughs> concealer and again that's the shade 02 peach beige all right so i put some on the back of my hand and i'm just dotting this on i don't know how the coverage is going to be so i'm just going to start off with a little bit and then go from there this feels very thick and very creamy I'm going to use the Paw Paw Beauty Blender Sponge from Shop Miss A. Again, I'll have all the tools, all the products linked down below, you guys. 
definitely feels weightless. I like how it looks like skin. I've been really into not the super heavy thick foundation, so this is perfect for me. So let's see if we can build this up just a little bit in the areas that I, I tend to get a lot of redness around my cheeks. I like to have a little extra coverage there. Okay, I just realized that this is looking really weird around my mouth, like kind of blotchy around my mouth and nose. Like when you go back in with the sponge, it's almost like it's lifting up that first layer that you lay down, just the texture of the foundation. Something about the foundation has like almost this stickiness to it. I, It's not like super sticky, but you can feel something there, like there is a grip to it. All right, so let's try out the High Beauty Concealer. So that was very easy to blend. I'm not sure how much coverage it's really going to give me. So shade 02 peach beige is just a little too dark for me. So I am going to have to go in, you guys, unfortunately, with a different concealer. This is the e.l.f. Cosmetics Hydrating Camo Concealer. I don't know if it's the primer. Oh, I don't know what's going on. Let me just show you. Let me get up close. Do you see? It came off here and here. What is happening? You know what? We're. I need a tissue. I, I just, I can't. I'm gonna have to remove. Oh, I'm gonna have to remove it. It's just not looking good. Okay, this is not going as good as I had anticipated. Hopefully I'll continue using the foundation and like testing it out with maybe different products. I really do like the primer, but maybe, I don't know, maybe they just don't mix well together, but you would think like a hydrating primer and a hydrating foundation would work well. All right, so for eyeshadow primer, like I said, I couldn't find one on the Ulta website, so I'm gonna use the Milani eyeshadow primer. This is one of my favorites from the drugstore. So I did purchase one setting powder. This really stood out to me. I haven't tried this either. Um, it's the Essence Brighten Up Banana Powder. And this looked really promising. <laughs> so I'm gonna take a little bit of this powder. I'm gonna use the e.l.f. Small Tapered Brush. I don't typically set my whole face with powder. Just the areas where I know I'm gonna get creasing like on the eye. All right, so that went on really nicely. Um, it looks fine so far. All right, moving on to bronzer. This is the Essence Sun Club Matte Bronzing Powder, and I did pick the one for lighter skin. You get 15 grams, yes, 15 grams of product, and I have the shade 01 Natural. Okay, so this does have a fragrance to it. It's so hard picking out, you know, colors online. I probably should have went inside Ulta to pick everything out. I'm going to add some under here, a little bit down my neck. Um, I can definitely, I can definitely smell this. Oh, Essence, please don't put fragrance in your stuff. I don't think this color is right for me. I'm really sad because I was so excited to try this out. I wonder if a darker shade would be more flattering. It's not bad. I wish the color was more like a natural bronzy brown. All right, so for blush, I picked three blushes because I could not help myself. They were having a sale. Everything was like one or two dollars. I mean, I couldn't help myself. So this is the Essence The Blush in the shade Befitting. Oh, that's beautiful. Here's a quick swatch. And then I was so curious, as soon as I was looking online on the Ulta website, these looked so pretty. So these are the Essence Blush lighter gradient 
powder blushes. I picked two shades because, huh, why not? So it's almost like a blush and a highlighter all in one. Isn't that beautiful? All right, and then the last blush I got is in the shade Coral Sunset. Just love that gradient in the pan. I don't know what it is. I just, I love it. That is so gorgeous. Okay, I think I might go with this one. I'm gonna be using the Glam Goth Beauty Angled Brush. I did a full review on this indie brand. I love her makeup brushes. You guys, they're so good. So I'm gonna take, I think I'm just gonna take um, a little bit on this side here, just a little, little bit. All right, so this is applying really nicely, really smooth formula. I'm not happy with that bronzer. <laughs> the, the color of that bronzer is bothering me. Okay, that looks, that looks orange, like apricot orange. Is this going to be like a really bad full face makeup tutorial? Oh gosh. All right, I'm gonna do my brows next. So I have tried this product before and I picked a different shade. So I'm gonna be using the Essence Make Me Brow Eyebrow Gel Mascara. This one is great, very similar to the one from e.l.f. Has all these little brow fibers. And then for brow pencil, I wanted to try this one from Essence. It's called Baby Got Brow Eyebrow Pencil in Waterproof. And I picked the shade Brunette, 02 Brunette. So it comes in this really chunky pencil. So on one side, you have a nice spoolie. And then the other side you have, oh, okay, this one isn't a tiny pencil. This is more of an angled pencil. So it is retractable. All right, so that applied really nicely. It is pulling a little bit orange on this side because I have less hair than this side. This is my good brow. Uh, really nice dry formula. I do prefer a more precise pencil because this is just a little bit chunkier to work with, but so far I really like it. I really like the spoolie too. Something about the spoolie really grips the hairs. All right, so this definitely is a more wet formula right off the bat compared to the one from e.l.f. So you have to kind of like let it dry for a second, but I'm pretty happy. I think the brows look pretty decent. So once again, just like in my ColourPop full face tutorial, I forgot to apply a highlighter, <laughs> um, but we're gonna apply it right now. So this has been raved about all throughout YouTube for so long. The Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. I picked the shade number 10 be my highlight. I believe this is the lightest shade. I think it does come in a couple of colors. I've never tried this before. As far as I remember, I've never tried this. Now this is again more of a softer highlighter, but it's really pretty. I think with a different, like this blush and bronzer is just not doing it for me today, but I do like how subtle this is. I do prefer highlighters that don't emphasize texture that are more glowy that is really pretty and of course i almost forgot i usually set my face before i go into eyeshadow um so this is the essence hello good stuff three in one face mist it claims to hydrate fix and refresh with watermelon extract and i think they had a few different scents if you will so it's just a little spray bottle oh okay nice mist Ooh. Oh my god, it smells like watermelons. It smells like watermelon, like watermelon fruit juice or something. Oh, I sprayed way too much on my necklace. 90% natural ingredients. So I'm, I'm, I'm really happy with that. I actually really like how that applied. You guys, it's driving me crazy. Like this, this blush. I'm gonna take a little I'm gonna take a tiny bit of concealer on my cheeks because I'm I'm just I feel like I'm going crazy. Okay, that is so much better. Oh, oh, the Elf Camo Concealer saving the day for me. <laughs> I'm gonna take a little bit of that Essence blush. I know what you're thinking, Jess. Why are you adding more blush? Well, the thing is, is I'm kind of changing the color of that blush because that just did not go well with that 
you know, we kind of canceled it out. I'm just tapping my brush. Okay, that's so much better. Oh, okay. I think I saved the day. <laughs> oh gosh, I just can't help but giggle because this is just, you know, a hot mess today. What is happening? All right, let's do the eyes. Let's hope that this is a better <laughs> situation than what happened with the face. So I purchased two new eyeshadow palettes and I'm so excited because I think Essence has really great eyeshadow palettes. I've mentioned some of their palettes in the past. The only downside is I feel like they discontinue things very rapidly. So these may not be available like next year. And this is the new Out in the Wild eyeshadow palette. Look how cute the packaging is. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. So I'm going to go in with this matte shade here. Now these don't have any names, so I'm just going to point to which shadow I'm using. I'm going to take that matte shade. It's like a nice kind of like brownie taupe. I'm telling you guys, I have a good feeling about these eyeshadow palettes. There is some pickup in the palette, so these are, you know, a little bit powdery. I always like to kind of show you guys, you know, how much kick up there is, but I mean, most eyeshadows, you're gonna have a little bit of kick up. So we're just gonna apply this in the crease. Nice transition color, nice cool toned. I feel like this does lean pretty cool. So I'm just gonna take it on a pencil brush, that same cool toned color that we put in the crease. And I'm just gonna bring that down on the lower lash line. I'm gonna take this slightly darker matte shade here. I love the little leaf. I don't wanna touch the little leaf and mess it up because it looks so cute. So I'm gonna take this color and kind of just apply it to the crease, just deepen it up and take that same brown and smoke it on the lower lash line. I'm gonna take that green, that green there. Wow, that is so pretty. I'm gonna go back in with that medium dark shade and just kind of pull that back in and dip into this really pretty cream nude. Just do a matte highlight right underneath the brow bone. I've been really liking that lately. Not a shimmery one, just a matte one. I'm gonna apply this one to the lid and this one the inner corner. All right, I'm kind of curious to use the setting spray, so I'm gonna pick a little bit more on my brush and take that Essence Setting Mist. Oh, okay, yeah. Ooh, yeah, that's more of a wet, foiled look. I will say this shade is pretty chunky, but oh my god, it's so pretty. I'm going to take a little bit of that dark matte green and apply a little bit of this to the lower lash line. All right, so for eyeliner, I do have three of the, these are called the Extreme Lasting Eye Pencils, and they claim to be waterproof and 16 hour wear. I love these. So this is in the shade 02, but first Espresso. This is one of my favorites. You guys have seen me use this pencil a lot. These are very creamy. Uh, they are long lasting for sure, and they're just really good. So I'm gonna take that same Essence pencil and I'm just gonna go along the lash line here. Falsies Lashes Mascara, Extreme Volume and Curl. So this one just really grabbed my attention. I thought I would give it a try. It's a nice bristly brush. All right, so two coats of that mascara. I have to say I really like the wand. I like how it's curved because I can easily kind of curl my lashes up. But wow, um, 
really made my lashes super thick. As far as I know, Essence doesn't sell false lashes, so I'm gonna apply some falsies in a moment, but to finish off the look, let's do the lips. I picked out two lip liners and two lipsticks. Now, I have always been a fan of their lipsticks. I don't think this is the same formula. I don't remember. It's been so long. I had to get rid of a lot of my old Essence lipsticks because they got kind of like old, moldy. So I have never tried these though. These are the Essence Soft and Precise Lip Pencils. This is called My Choice. Oh my goodness, you guys. That applied so nice. Nice creamy formula. Not too creamy, but not too dry. You guys, this matches my natural lip color perfectly. All right, so we have two shades of the semi-matte lipsticks. Now, I don't know if these are the same ones I've tried years ago. They have a little E on the top, white packaging with the rose gold at the bottom. Kind of reminds me of Flower Beauty. 12 Loyal. <gasps> I think that is gonna match really nicely. All right, I'm gonna go off camera and plop on a pair of false lashes and do something with my hair because you guys, this humidity, my hair is just the pits. Um, I did apply some lashes. These are the A Plus Glam 3D Foaming Lashes in the style Dubai. I love these, these are so pretty and fluffy. I did do a review on these not long ago. I tried on all 15 pairs. Go check that video out if you missed it. I have to say, we, we had a rough start, but the finished look I'm really, really happy with. Um, I love how the eye look turned out super smoky, has that nice green element to it. I love the nude lip. So that's everything. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up, comment, like, share, subscribe if you are new to my channel. I put videos out on every Tuesday and Friday, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I do talk about a lot of cruelty-free beauty here so if you want to see more of that please subscribe hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on new videos all of the makeup that i used today in the description box so definitely check that out i will see you in the next one you guys make sure to check out my playlist of doing one brand tutorials and i'm so excited i think elf cosmetics is coming next so stay tuned there's more one brand tutorials coming your way have a great day you guys and i will see you very soon in the next one bye